Okay, guys, here we are on, uh, um, I guess, this, uh, part two of the uh, mower. And I apologize for the shaky camera because I'm going to have to move around so you can see all the uh, things that I, I've done. Now, uh, in one of my, uh, in the previous, I was talking about the, the, the pulley and the motor. All right, I finally found a vendor that would answer the phone calls and answer the emails. And I got a two and a half inch pulley, timing gear pulley here, and a one inch drive pulley over there. That was only available at a half an inch. So I had to bore it out uh, to um, uh, five eighths. But because of the boring, I had to weld up the top portion here. Um, the um, uh, the wall would have been too thin, so I had to weld it up and then uh, re-drill the set screw and uh, and tap it to um, a quarter twenty set screw. And on this, I ordered it to be in a 3 inch drive and they sent me a half inch drive so I had to put a sleeve in this and then uh, bore it uh, to fit the um, the 3 inch drive shaft on the transmission if you remember this is a 3 speed transmission here's the lever to shift it and it's right in low speed right now and that seems to be a pretty good position uh, so and then I got a half inch wide belt so I've got and then I changed the from the uh, um, quarter horse motor to a half horse motor so we've changed this out we've got the, the drive gears changed and we've got um, a good solid driving system now and I've had to do some adjustments okay now that was I showed you all that when, when the unit was upside down on on the bench and <laughs> now I've got it on the stand on the legs and I got I got it propped up on, on bricks so I could get underneath there and show it to you now, what I was talking about was with this tank, um, I was going to weld it onto the plate. And down there, you can see, I welded those four tabs um, uh, uh, over, the, over the drive shaft. Now, let me get around here and uh, see if there's something here I should show you. All right, now there's another view of the, uh, the uh, drive gears that I showed you in the other video. And another view of the uh, dry, uh, timing gear. Now, here is the impellers. Now I might have, I think I'm gonna, gonna have to get uh, the light up here so you can see it because it gets a little dark. There, now you, now you can see it. There's the impellers. And if I can get the camera to look all the way down inside, you'll see the, the bottom impellers, um, the two top impellers, and then off to the left, you'll see the trap door, the dropout door that I made. And I'll show you that on the other side. Let me just put the light down and turn it and get on the other side uh, okay now down here I cut out a section of the tank and I made a cheap hinge on the bottom and then a snap latch and then you just unhook it boom there's your dropout now the only thing I gotta do left on on this whole thing is I gotta get some rubber gasket material 
and put a rubber gasket all the way around because the sand is coming out through the sides. So that is that is something I still have to do yet. Uh, and then that just snaps that just snaps shut like that. So basically this whole unit is done. Now the big the big test and uh, I'll warn you right now this uh, the tank is a little bit out of round so I'm gonna I put one band around the top and I'm gonna put another band here and another band down here to uh, try and get it so it's it's more uniform but let me just plug it in again I apologize for the shaky camera going all over the place see I told you I told you it's crazy she's, uh, like I said she's a little noisy let me get the light up here the tank the, the impellers are just either a hair too long or the the tank is a little bit out of round but she is working and like I said except for that trap door that's the only thing I gotta that and the, the uh, little bit of rubbing I got on the impeller but there she is timing timing belt is work, work, working perfectly So there you have it guys, that's the completed molar for you. Hope that gives you some ideas.